is 5.15 volts. Oops. Hey guys, welcome back to Zach Blog. So, I have had this phone for a few years now. It's a Samsung Galaxy S4, and the battery in it is done. I'm looking into a new phone, so I'm not going to replace the battery in this. I have no idea when I'll get a new phone. So, it's always dying on me when I'm out and about. So I built a charger for the e-bike. So that's what we're going to look at today. We'll cover the pretty much the entire process. Uh, start to finish. The building, the testing. And finally the install. So, let's go. Sorry if it's a bit no noisy, they're doing some construction next door. I'm not going to fully install this thing today. I have double checked here. And this little port down here, let's see if I can set this camera up. I do believe my alarm's on, maybe I should turn that off. Okay, so I've checked down here. Hopefully you can see the multimeter. I'm gonna use my charge port for testing because it's actually just a direct connection to my battery. I touch the two terminals and I get my 53.2. It's usually around 54, but it's been sitting here with the alarm on. So, before I actually plug this in, oops, there, guys. there we go. Okay, so just check this again. The plug goes in upside down. Let 
got a negative voltage that way. So, come on. So this is my positive. So if I plug it in upside down, I'm gonna do a diode check. That should be my positive. So I wanna double check that that goes to there. Okay. So, I guess this is the first test. I mean, I don't hope something goes bang, but I bet you guys do. <laughs> so, I don't know if I've... I mean, I'll probably do a thing where I point out what this is. This is an HRD uh, 05003E. Uh, I bought this a long time ago to do the headlights for my other e-bike. It's just a 60 volt to 12 volt converter, or up to 60 volt. So, what I've done here is I paralleled the USB outputs on this. I could buy a 2 amp car charger for, what, 10 bucks? Or I could get two of these for 250 at the dollar store. These are 1 amp output. So, paralleling up the outputs onto one USB port should give me a 2 amp output to charge my phone with. Should. Now, I put this port on here so that this can go under my seat in between my battery and the actual plug for the bike. We're just going to do testing this way for now. Which is not going to work. Looking at this, I forgot to attach the ground. Huh. I'll be right back. Second time's a charm, right? I left my keys upstairs. Good thing I don't really need them for this. Okay, so... Back at the, uh, blog. Moment of truth. Let's just go for it. Blah, blah, blah. Already explained all this. We got light. I'm not going to plug anything into it yet. DC 20 volts. And I'm going to go casing. And positive. Oh, you probably can't see that. How am I going to do this? I'll turn this this way. Something like that. Oh, sorry guys. The casing. Oh, now you can't see the multimeter. It says 5.15 volts. Oops. Oh. Now I gotta go get a new charger thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay guys. So I've gone down to the dollar store and got a replacement charger, went back up to the extremely hot attic and replaced the charger. So again, we have two, two one amp chargers in parallel on here. Let's see if it works. So here's the thing. I'm going to plug this in so I don't really have to mess with this while it's not in the case. Take our power, plug it in. We have light on both of the chargers. I'm going to plug this in and it works. Excellent.
Alright guys, so it's the next day. We're here out at the bicycle, or e-bike. I have the charger here. I went and made the case for it last night. It's part of the reason this took all night. Kind of takes a while to print things, right? So, this is the moment of the truth. Let's see if it actually charges a phone. It powers up that little USB light thing. So I'll plug this in. I don't know if you can see that. I can see a faint red glow coming from it, which means it's definitely on. Part of the reason I made this this specific length oops, is so it can just fit up in there. So my cord, I'll just plug in. here. I'll drop it. Turn my screen right up because you probably won't be able to see it. The battery is that bad that I keep my screen pretty much off. And it plugs in. And it works. So I'm going to shut my screen off and then I'll let this phone sit here for like two minutes and I'm going to see if it actually charges at all. It's at 84% right now. Wow, look at that. Just a few seconds later, 85. So it's definitely charging. I'm going to call that a success. Um, I'll quickly show you the reasons for some of the design points. As I already pointed out, I wanted enough length to sit in the dash. And it's also able to plug in here. And you've probably noticed I put this plug on here so I can charge my bike while this is plugged in and also my final design point actually failed so and this was my own fault I should have looked into it I just kind of made assumptions underneath here we have our battery Now, one of my plans was to have this able to plug into the battery and then this battery plug plug into here so this could just stay under my seat. If I was going to be away from the bike and I needed to charge something, it could stay under the seat and charge. The problem with that is this plug isn't quite the same. If you take a close look at these two edges, this one comes out instead of going in. It's very easy to nip that off, but that kind of defeats the whole purpose of this. I designed this to not be installed permanently in the bike, because I still have a warranty on this thing. Next year I'll probably just install this permanently in the bike. I don't really foresee any problems between now and then, so... Yeah. Alright guys, so this has been a really fun project, and it's gonna come in handy a lot. I always forget my charger at home and stuff, so... Next year the warranty's up on my bike, so I'm gonna permanently install this. Uh, if you guys want to see a video on that and how exactly I permanently install this, let me know and I can make that happen. I'll probably not actually use this one, I'll probably just go buy more parts again and keep this one as a backup or something. Okay, then I can charge two things or I can make even more input or uh, outputs on the next one. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for today. You guys know what to do. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up. If you disliked it, hit the thumbs down. Uh, leave me a comment. Um, hit that subscribe button. I think it's right there. 
And if you feel like helping out the channel through Patreon at all, I'll put the card up there. So, as always, have a good one, guys.